Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. I'm going to talk with you about whether you should be self-employed and how to boost your chances of success. Even before the economy slowed because of COVID, the shortage of decent paying, ethical, reasonably secure jobs made people eager to try being their own boss. Well, let's start with some bad news. Alas, succeeding in self-employment is more difficult even than the statistics imply. Not only do 45% of businesses fail in the first five years, many others struggle despite the owner working long hours under the stress of knowing that enough money doesn't come in. Yikes! It's understandable that most new businesses fail. Many people are procrastinators, which often is the kiss of death for the self-employed. The meter never stops running. Also, the self-employed person must be quite self-sufficient, able to do most of a business's core tasks, from sales to basic accounting. Having a partner would split the profits and doubles the potential for conflict. And hiring, even on a just-in-time basis, can hurt cash flow too much. Money is a business's lifeblood. Run out and you're dead. Now let's turn to the better news. Fortunately, as the commercials say, your experience may vary. Excuse me. The more honest yeses you can give to the following questions, the better your chances of being successfully self-employed. Do you have a low-risk business concept that offers a good chance of providing at least a middle-class income? Viewers of my videos know that I often recommend low-cost, low-status businesses, such as a small chain of gift carts that you'd plant near mass transit stations. <clears throat> Such businesses cost little to run, and the competition in low-status businesses tends to be less than in, say, environmental technology. Has procrastination had little or no effect on your previous endeavor's success? Would your proposed business be motivating enough that you would procrastinate little? Are you broadly efficacious? That is, have you demonstrated the ability to solve a wide range of practical issues, for example, in basic marketing, IT, tax, and legal matters? Or do you quite often throw your hands up, swallow and pay dearly for help? Do you have or could get access to enough money, yes, for startup, but also for the months or longer that it takes to build your customer base, as well as to pay for your living expenses during that time? Have you been successful at persuading people? You needn't have been a salesperson, but all of us are more successful or less so in convincing people, for example, to do an activity or even to share your political view, whatever. That's important in self-employment because you're always selling, for example, convincing a friend to let you share office space, a vendor to let you sell their product on consignment, and of course, getting customers to buy what you're selling. Do you have a nose for buying inexpensively? If you're selling a product, the word wholesale can mean as little as 10% of what you'd sell it for, or as much as 50% of what you'd sell it for, or even more. Successful business people tend to search beneath the obvious sources. For example, if you want to sell furniture for psychotherapy offices, rather than just Googling wholesale office furniture, search the pallets and truckloads on liquidation.com or on the Government Services Administration website that's gsa.gov. It conducts auctions of a wide array of government property, often in large quantity. Can you picture yourself devoting considerable effort on to marketing and sales, at least until the business is doing well enough? And the macro question, compared with the job you currently have, or likely would have if you tried hard to find a good position, how likely would you be happier if you were self-employed? So, as you honestly reflect on your answers to these questions, do your answers lead you to conclude that you should be employed by someone else? Of course that's fine. Most people choose to be employees. But if you think you should take a shot at self-employment, doing what? And do you need to promise yourself that you would do X or Y to maximize your chances of success? If you can be successfully self-employed, you have the potential to make more money doing what you want to do while having more control over your work life than if you were an employee. That's an attractive prospect indeed. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And in any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.